Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one guys, I'm rocking Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. I'm going to show you how to use motion tracking inside Premiere Pro. This is not going to be a perfect track and we're doing this deliberately because I just want to show you the different options and a perfect track doesn't really do that. So let's just get right in and rock and roll. Now the first thing I've got a picture here or a video pardon me of a ball and it's just sort of laying on the grass but there's some movement in it and it's quite deliberate that we've chosen this piece. Also it's available free to download on uh, Pexels. I'll put the link in the description. It's free so if you decide you want to try along with me all good. So you'll see here I've dragged and dropped it into the old panel and we've got it in the program panel here. The timeline, the the head, pardon me, is at the beginning, so let's just go ahead, switch this out to 100%. I'm just going to hit spacebar, and you'll see the video quickly here. Uh, we don't even need audio, do we? I'll turn the audio off. It's nothing. Uh, oops, hit the wrong button. Never mind. So anyways, guys, as you can see here, it's just a video of a ball with some motions. Quite deliberate. Um, so let's just go ahead and get rolling. Now, when I left click on the video, you'll see at the top left or the top right here, under the effect control panels, and for some of you that might be down here, depending on how you've got your set up, I am currently in the 2019 default workspace editing. So some of you guys might be in effects or who the hell knows what. But if you're following along, that's where I am. Let's roll. The first step here is you want to make sure you are clicked on the video. As you'll see here, it is selected. Now I'm going to go to my effect control panels. And in a very, you know, I'd say in a little bit of a strange place, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the uh, pen tool. It's under opacity. This allows us to draw a mask. So I'm going to do this very, very quickly because I don't want to make this a really long video. So I'm going to left click on it. And then bang, I'm going to click the top of the ball. I'm going to click the side of the ball. I'm going to drag it, make it nice and sort of roundish. It is not going to be perfect. I admit this. And then I'm going to click here. Ay, 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 I'll control Z that. I'm going to click here, pardon me. And let's see. What do you think? Do, do, do. I'm going to go this way with it. Okay. Again, not perfect. I am sorry. I'm going to go to the side here. And of course it's doing the stupid thing, but whatever, this is how it is. And I'm going to click there and then I'm going to close it and I'm going to try and wobble it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I got to do this quickly here because I don't want to make it too big of a mess. You know what? I'm just going to zip that and then I'm going to close this one down like this. And on this one, I'm going to, yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and zoom it in a bit. Yeah, I mean, this isn't this isn't going as good as I'd like, but whatever, we'll get there, right? Okay, we'll handle that handle in a bit. And we're gonna move that handle a bit, and okay, we're getting close to a ball. Again, this is not a perfect mask. This is not what we're trying to do. Now we can look on it here. I'm gonna click on opacity, and then I'll click the FX off. On. So it's pretty close, but it is not perfect. Like I said, it's a little bit finicky inside Premiere Pro. All good. Now the next step, and this is what you came for, is how do you track it? Really, really simple, guys. Under mask, you're going to see this playhead. I'm going to go ahead and click left click on this, and it says track selected mask forward. Now, you'll see here it's making progress. It is now tracking it inside Premiere Pro. Traditionally, people would go to After Effects to do this kind of thing, and you might still want to because you get a little bit better control and a few more options. But again, guys, if you're in a hurry, you want to roll this out, here's how you do it. You left click on that, rock and roll, and in a second, it'll be ready. Bling, it's done. Again, it's not perfect. I'm going to go to the beginning where it is good, and then I'm going to hit the left space bar, and again, watch. So the mask is moving with, but it's not moving perfectly because the size of the ball changes because the distance from the camera changes. So again, if you guys are pros and you want to go in and really get this right, you could go to somewhere like here and then you could add, I don't know, you go back to the thing here and you could like move this in a bit and maybe move that in a bit and then maybe add a frame here or add a key here and a little tool dotty 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 here and then you can see and then move forward a little bit and then again you guys can move it in and you know adjust the handles as you see fit um, that's not really the focus of this video if I'm being blunt and eh, that wasn't right 
But uh, again, guys, you see the point. You can just do these types of things, move it in, uh, move this one in, make a mess. No, pardon me, move this one in, etc., etc. But guys, the point is, is to track it, that's all you need to do. The other thing I do need you to know is there are different tracking methods. So I currently have the default, which is position, scale, and rotation. But a lot of people, you just want position, right? Because it doesn't change in size or it doesn't rotate, for example. The screen doesn't move much. It's like a, a fixed on a tripod. So you have these different options. If I just wanted position, I could go ahead and start at the beginning again. And then I would hit track selected mask forward. And it would track simply for position, guys. Again, this is really, really Mickey Mouse. It's, it, it's fast. It's furious. Um, <laughs> I did it quickly just to show you the technique, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have anything that you want to learn or you have any questions, of course, leave me a message. I'll make that video for you. Thanks for watching.